Hello to you, welcome back to my channel. Come on in, don't forget to subscribe. I always forget to say that. Um, please subscribe to me. Um, I'm trying to do this cute little bun thing. Well, it's not really a bun, is it? But my hair's got longer now, so it's not as cute. Like, it used to be really cute and it would have like the flicky outy bit. But now I can't really do it, like, as cutely. I can't get it all in. Like, oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, we'll leave it at that. <coughs> I really need to wash my hair. Today is hair wash day. Um, my mom sent me this freaking Halloween care package. Why is she my favorite person ever? I'm sitting right by my window, so if someone walks past, I'm gonna get judged like crazy. So me and Jack have already like opened this and brewed through, but I thought I'd open it with you because there's some Halloween decorations in here. So we can like decorate the flat and make it all like wholesome and cute. Um, this is an empty box. She sent us some eggs because like Jack's vegan, but he eats my mum's chicken's eggs. Um, because he knows that my parents take care of them like nicely. So we've got some eggs. I need to put them in the fridge. They did survive the post. One of them's cracked, but only like a tiny little bit. So hopefully he'll be okay. Um, then she sent us these like little signs. Like that one says, and they've got like little bases. That one says trick or treat. And that one says boo. And that one says happy Halloween. So I'll put them around the flat. This is so cute. She's, I just freaking love her. Then I phoned her to say thank you. And we were talking for like an hour and a half. And I was like, mm -hmm. mom, miss you. <coughs> she sent me these little pumpkins to go with the bloody five billion pumpkins that we have down there. We're gonna carve them this week. <coughs> There's like um, a Plymouth night in thing, like girls night in um, on Wednesday. So we're gonna have a takeaway and carve our pumpkins because we ain't going out because spiking's fucked up. So we're staying in. Um, but yeah, with these little pumpkins. Super cute. And she sent these little tea lights. Oh, she's actually so cute. I wonder where she got this stuff from. Sainsbury's maybe. Oh, I ripped it. Batteries included. Yes, Leslie Leo. I was gonna say, I don't have tiny batteries. So, this is so fun. Let me open them up. Oh, they actually are like little pumpkins. Oh, freaking cute. Let me pull the thing up. they're like flickery even though i'm not meant to do that and it's a bit funky but i still think that that's really cute like that's a vibe mm. it's not really gonna focus very well because it's a light so yeah no mm. love him oh this is so cute she did send clearly she went to eminence um, she sent some veggie Collins, but me and Jack opened this together, so he's clearly in that whole pack already. Um, a Colin the Caterpillar festive spooky cake jar. I'm going to the cinema tonight, I think, with Helen, so I'm going to eat this in the cinema. What a life hack. That's going to be my cinema snack. And a Tango Ice Blast, obviously. <sighs> Don't mind me coughing. <coughs> I'm still ill, guys. It's been like over a week. Um, she sent these like little lanterns and then you like put them on here. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but somewhere cute. Maybe in our bedroom. But I'll find a cute place for them. Ah. And then we've got a box. It's always handy having a box. So I need to stick all the little lantern-y things on. Um, yeah, and then, um, make the flat all nice and decorate it it's gonna be so wholesome i'll probably just put you on a time lapse while i get all the things out of the packaging and sort them out oh i also want to make um brownies i bloody love baking i'm in the swing of it now i might walk to aldi and get some cocoa powder it's a little surprise <coughs> for jack when he gets home the pumpkin cakes that we made in the last vlog how long do they last 
I made them on a Friday and we ate the last ones yesterday, which was Sunday. So they basically last two days. No, surely not. Yeah, they did. They didn't last long, did they? <laughs> Lol. Fuck's sake. They were yummy though. Guys, it's looking freaking cute. Oh, the light in this flat is so bad. When people like are YouTubers, not that I'm a YouTuber, you know what I mean? Um, and they like have a really photogenic, like filmy, good light house. Like, mm, that's a lot of commitment, do you know what I mean? Right, I'll show you the little pumpkin setup. Light, okay, so I put the little string of lights up here, which is cute, but it just gives me cramped vibes. I hate it when things look cramped, but. It's fine, we move. It's not for very long. And Jack might think of a better place to put them. Um, and then here I just put the little Happy Halloween and the tea light next to our sweets. Um, did I put anything over here? No, I think I did and then I moved down watching Megan Grubb. Um, then on the table, my flowers are dead. So, swapped them out for pumpkins. Normally there's something like high and I quite like it, but... Well, now I've got pumpkins. I need to like spread them out a bit. There we go. But I feel like they need like leaves or something, but two down here. I wasn't really sure what to do. Guys, there was a spider. There was a spider on the pumpkins and I dealt with it myself. Look at me go. Also, my sock has a hole in it. That's so gross, we won't look. Um, I don't really know what to do with these ones. I was like, oh, cute on the corner, on the floor. I might put them down there instead. I didn't really know where to put them. Someone give me some pumpkin help. Or let it down there, maybe. Maybe I'll give him a move about. Um, anything up here? I put this little trick or treat sign. A little pumpkin next to the washing up bowl. And then in here, it's really messy, all our clothes are on the bed. I put a little candle down there on our bedside table. And then for Jack's little computer, he then he can look, boo! And he can be in the festive spirits, ah, cute. I put them down there and they look better. Oh, Megan, why are you having a musical montage right now? I put them down there and they look better. So, yeah. So, it's about my washing. <laughs> Wait, look at that. So, yeah, it's all just cute and pumpkin-y now. Feels very cosy. It's dark. We're in the cinema. <laughs> I forgot to vlog on the way here. But we're in the cinema. I got, got an ice cream. Hello, it's got an ice cream. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm trying to show them. We're watching Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> We'll give you an update and a full review when we're done. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Again. Over and out. <laughs> Guys, it's really dark. We've returned. Don't watch that film if you're on your period. Or if you're emotionally unstable. Or if you're emotionally unstable because that was not okay. It was a lot. It's so good though, like, you have to go and see it. I literally knew what was going to happen and yet I was still sat there. She knows like, the freaking story and then two... Well, I was crying like two minutes in. <laughs> yeah. But it's like people that get made fun of and have no friends really yeah, hurt me really like they cut me deep yeah true. like i can't watch the undateable sometimes because oh. it just upsets me oh. and like things where people get rejected oh, first date. literally where people get rejected that just cuts deep it's when like one of them's like yeah i want to see you again and the, and the other one's like, like no oh stop it i feel sad already <laughs> it really hurts. but that was a really good film yeah would recommend, would recommend. 10 out of 10 Whew. i had high expectations surpassed them my yeah. mascara was like, <laughs> but like everyone in the toilet was like checking their mascara. Right in front of the window. So I feel like people, if someone walks past, they're going to be like, why is my neighbor filming herself? What a freak. Um, hello, I feel like I'm always here. Should we go sit on the sofa? Um, hello, it's been a long day. Oh, see, look. Oh no. Oh, it's raining. It's always raining in Plymouth, guys. If you're thinking about moving to Devon, it always rains, so 
just maybe reconsider that. Oh so yeah, I just feel a bit pants really. A bit like ugly and gross. Um, and like, I don't know. But you know, everyone struggles with something. I look really weird like this. So I'm just gonna lie here, do some work. Actually, I'm not gonna lie here. I don't know why I even said that. I picked up my camera to tell you that I'm gonna make brownies. I feel like I'm really loving this baking every week. Then it's a bit counterproductive, isn't it? If I have, if I feel fat because I eat too much. Now I'm making brownies. But I actually much prefer to make them than I do to eat them. Like I just really enjoy baking. So yeah, I'm gonna make brownies. It's become a weekly segment, really, hasn't it? The baking. So yeah. I'll show you what I'm gonna put in them because these are the best brownies. Like, they're so good. They're vegan as well. Um, not that any of you really care, but you might care. You might be some vegans out there. You might have some vegan viewers. I'll show you the ingredients. Here we are. This is the recipe. It's Nora Cooks. Let's go back to the top. Best ever vegan brownies um, by Nora Cooks. Yeah, very easy. I do it all the time. Jack loves it. I love it. Um, so we've got obviously cocoa powder, brown sugar, normal sugar, flax seeds for the egg. But if you're not vegan, then just use a normal egg. Um, vanilla, baking powder, peanut butter, flour, self raising, salt, and butter. You don't have to add peanut butter, but I am. Or you can add like chocolate chips or whatever. So you don't really need that if you don't eat nuts. But yeah, let's get started. I feel like I've made these on a vlog before, so I might just do a little time lapse again. But I'm gonna actually get my tripod out this time because I was editing last week's vlog, like the autumn one where I made those cupcakes. And I was like, why did I not just get my tripod out like for a better angle? Like what was I doing? put little blobs of peanut butter and then make them into hearts i feel like that's really cute so maybe like three little blobs like one two three okay then this side one you can't really see what I'm doing, can you? My arm's in the way. Two. Three. Ah, there you go. I made these so long ago on holiday. I might use a cocktail stick and a knife combination. Yeah, I feel like a cocktail stick's just gonna cut through the mixture. All right, let's have a go. Is that hot? Yay! Oh my gosh, it's working! How cute is that? It's made a little hot. You can't really see. Wipe it clean. And go again. Yay! Hearts! OMG, how cute. Oh, look! I heart you. Guys, look how look good these look. They taste so good as well. Jack's picking me up when he come home from work and we're gonna go out and I'm gonna cut like a massive chunk and wrap it in. I was gonna say wrap it in tin foil, but we don't have any. But just like take it with me out to him in the car. As a little surprise. These things are also really good. I got these in Aldi. They're like um, 
reusable liners and you just like give them a wash but like the slits just like form so they mold into the shape of any tray so that's pretty fancy yeah oh and they're still a bit fudgy in the middle mm -mm -mm. so good i always underbake them so they're fudgy in the middle and then if you put them in the fridge they go really chewy hey guys we're playing bingo my eyebrows are really gone funny yeah no, no, my beard is Why are you letting him get the dip the wrong number? 7 and 4, 7 and 2, 22. 7 and 0, 17. 1 and 5, 15. I've got playing the two lines in Dundee. I'll take you details when you're ready. Jack's not having fun. Can you tell the vlog why I'm not having fun? It's just numbers. It's fun. All I hear is... 61. And you're like looking for your number and it's fun. Well, 59. I'll sit here and play on my own. My outfit's really cute. I'm very much enjoying it. I like the little string neck. This was from um, the New Looks Kids section, actually. It's so cute. There you are, good little bingo man. I love it. I like this thing. I think it's fun. Quite a one. Wow, we broke even. Woohoo! What was our line? It was that one. 72 was our lucky number. Yeah. Mm, 72. Maybe that'll have to be our joint lucky number now. 72. Ooh. Winners. Oh, free game. Good morning. Once again, we're in a petrol station. I feel like I film from petrol stations quite a lot. There he is. We're both wearing brown today. It's very cute and wholesome. We match. We're going to Cornwall today um, to like a vintage shop. We're going to Cornwall and we're listening to Christmas songs on the way and I'm very enjoying my life. He probably thinks I'm a weirdo. Yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Oh, here are the brownies. He ma he made me bring them in the car as a little snack for him because, you know. And I got a white bag, but I don't really know how I feel about that. It doesn't really match my fit. But we move and it's Halloween weekend, so we're going out tonight. I need to, um, what am I going to wear? I actually don't know. Oh, a nun or maybe a clown. I'm not really sure. I haven't really thought about my outfits because I don't want to spend any money. So, um, yeah, I might need to go to the Halloween shop <laughs> or a fancy dress shop if we find one in Cornwall. Oh, God, they're looking at me. Guys, this shop is insane. I don't even know where Jack's gone. I am vlogging. Oh. There he is. It's massive. But we're just in like a tiny little room. Like, there's more down there. Like, we're just downstairs. Oh babe, they've got um football jerseys down here. That's a bit of you. This one is don't know what that is, it's got a tiger on it. I'm gonna get this trench coat, I think. I need to try it on. It's only ten pounds. The shop is really cheap. Cornwall's my new favourite place. Should we move to Cornwall, babe? Oh, he's a Devon boy now. We've finally done that shop. We've been in there for two hours. Two hours we were in that shop, babe. There's a charity shop up there. Yeah, we'll do a haul for you later. This street is really cute. Where actually are we? In a little town called what? Chamelden, Camelton. Do you not want to go in that charity shop? Oh, okay. We're not going in there then. We're home now and Jack said, quick, before I put it back, I need to show the vlog. There you go. No, you have to stand this way so the light's like on you. Gang gang. You don't look cool. Okay. No, don't do that. That's not cool. Well, That's what he bought. What else did you buy? Not you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I bought this little top. It looks really cute as a little crop top. I feel like it's a bit of an outfit vibe. And I might be sp spoy spice. Hello Halloween. And then I bought a trench. It's oh, it's green. Is that what you wanted? I thought it was cream. Come in the light. It's green. Oh, 
It smells. No, hold it up so oh. they all can see. No, night. No, oh. Don't worry. You brought. Oh, where's she got five cards? One for every purchase. And then Jack got these jeans. So they look ones. really cool. Baggy ones. I'm gonna sure you show them like you. They're Levi's as well. How much How much do we spend? £10 on the jeans, £10 on my coat, £3 on my little top, and of course he finds the most expensive thing. £20. Some money. That's what he bought, and now I'm going to carve some pumpkins. But our kitchen is currently a mess, because Jack made an omelette. That was it. That's all he made. An omelette, and it's that messy. Oh, they smell like must. We bought an ice cube tray. It's a nice um, colour, isn't it? It is a nice colour. I feel yeah. sick. That's the colour. Um, yeah. So we're going to carve some pumpkins. That's going to be cute and wholesome. Do you ever start to rinse the freezer? You have to rinse it out. Don't just fill it up. Oh. Wash it. It smells like must. Wash it? Yes, wash it. It's new as well. There you go. Boys. We're carving pumpkins. Jax is working out which one he's going to do. I'm gonna set up a little time lapse. It's looking very cozy. We're watching a scary movie. And we've got some pumpkin lights on. This guy's mouth is a bit, you can just see the candle through. <laughs> this one's mine, then these two are Jack's. And then this one is mine too. Oh, they're so cute. I'm so excited to do them with our kids. It's gonna be so funny. Did you have fun, babe? Yeah. Good. There we go. Hey vlog. We're sports people. This is my outfit. It's really cute. And Jack's wearing his, um, Steelers top and we're a super cute little couple well I was meant to be sporty spice but I don't really look like sporty spice so I just went with like a sports girl and we're twinning and it's super cute um but yeah this is our hello Halloween evening attire it's a very Halloween -y vlog this one good morning He's doing house chores. Well, don't film me do house chores with my face makeup. <laughs> He's still got his bloody face paint on. Ah, oh, this is again quite messy. Can't lie. All our washing is up there. I'm just watching. Thank you for watching this vlog. We're just gonna lie on the sofa and eat pizza. I hope you subscribe and you had a good. I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. Um. And hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.